Hey crafters, it is now a few days after Christmas 2019. Now that things have calmed down, I've gathered all the gifts I received and I thought about making a video to show you because these are items you'll see on my channel for 2020. And I'm really excited. I'm so thankful that my family gifted me these items. It's just sweet that they are supportive of my crafting, my obsession, and I wanted to show you the biggest thing, the one thing I'm so excited about. I received a Brother sewing machine. This is the Brother SE600. I've mentioned on the channel before that since we moved to Germany, there's a crafting group of ladies here. Most of them sew. And they've been teaching me how to sew. I'm really excited to learn and pick up the new techniques. So this was a huge present from my husband. I'm really in love with it. And I'll probably put up an unboxing or something with it because I've never opened a sewing machine box before. I'm so excited to see everything in it and really get started. And in addition to some of the random ideas that pop into my head of I would really like to sew this and this and this, I do think blankets or small mini wall quilts will be what I sew the most of. And I found a pattern for a Germany flag blanket. I just thought it would be really cool to do a blanket that's all black, red, and yellow, German themed since I'm now in Germany. My love of sewing has started here and my first German Christmas, I got a sewing machine. So I'm really excited about this one. But let me move it off the table. <laughs> it's huge. It's huge. <sighs> Whew, that's heavy. The other things, um, my husband's really good about when he gives a gift to pick up all the little extras that you might not think about at the time. So he got me a large box of string, so of um, all the different colors that I could possibly need for thread. And I'm really excited to have this. Um, and it, it it's, it's almost like a, not quite a starter kit, but it has needles in here. It has some, well, let's check it out. Um, if I can figure out how to open it. It also looks like it has some stuff to help me thread the needles, but it's every color that you could really want to start with. Yeah. Include something to help thread, a pack of needles, and these gorgeous things of thread. I'm really excited about that because when I thought about the sewing machine, I knew I really wanted a sewing machine, I did not ask or even think of all the other things I'm gonna need, like a cutting mat, a rotary cutter. I've just been collecting fabric and the sewing machine, and this is very helpful to have. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Oh, twenty-four colors in here. Diamond painting is my obsession, so of course I received a lot of diamond painting stuff. And have you ever had a moment where you're thinking, man, I really need more of this, and you get it as a gift? That was basically my Christmas. So I'm gonna start with this. It is so cute. It is a little diamond painter's toolbox. It's pink. I love pink. I don't wear a lot of pink, but I love pink. And it is stuffed, stuffed with diamond painting tools. So it comes with the stickers, great, but I'll move that so you can see everything else in here. I don't want it to fall out, so. It's loaded layer after layer after layer of diamond painting stuff. So tweezers. I actually don't diamond paint with tweezers, but I use the tweezers when my drills spill all over my canvas and I have to pick them off. These cute little kid diamond painting tools, there's actually two of them. Both of my daughters diamond paint with me. I think these are gonna be really great. One looks like it's for three. The other one looks like maybe five or six. I'm not sure, but if I remember, I've seen these before, they light up. This will be really great for the kids. 
And it's just uh, something that I thought was really cool because when they diamond paint with me, they have these cute little tools they can use. Most of the time though, when they diamond paint, they use the pink pens. You'd think with all the diamond paintings that I've done, I would have so many pink pens. I'm constantly running out of drill pens. So this box with all of this in here is gonna be great. Uh, let's see. Another two more packs of tweezers. So we have metal and plastic, depending on your personal preference. Here's, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 diamond painting pens. Each one has the single space. Ah, nine diamond painting pens. Each has a different drill holder here. So you have your threes, your fives, we got some sevens. I mean, I'm not sure if this is a seven or a nine, but there's a lot here. I like the little finger squishy pads since I really press on my pens pretty hard while I'm working. That's great. Lots of pink wax. We have three drill holders, which are almost kind of travel sized. If I was gonna be taking a painting with me for a day, maybe I would use something like this instead of my large container. Just three bags. I once did a smaller painting and I used all bags for my drills. I really liked it, but I haven't done another small painting to use it. And I'm noticing more and more, I don't get bags with my drills anymore. When they come in these little bags, they've already got the DMC, the symbol labeled on it. These are so helpful, but it seems like people are moving away from that and just going to that crinkly plastic string of all the drills together. So I'm excited to have them. There's a lot here. I'm not even gonna begin to count it. They're so slippery, they just spill everywhere. So these, I'm a little surprised by you have a large drill holder. These pens really help to kind of scoop them out and put them in. Um, I'm using, I think right now on a project, the Evermates drill holder, drill organizer. This would work perfectly with the size of the drill organizer. So maybe I'll put these to good use pretty soon. But this is one thing, I don't know what it is. Um, packets of glue. Now I figured if my drills are not sticking, I could use this. It's got a very fine tip. But um, besides drills that won't stick, I'm not sure what else the glue is for. We have some clamps. Oh, lots of clamps. Lots of clamps, great, to clamp my painting down on a clipboard or anything like that that I'm using. I usually use this glass table but for my smaller drills, I wanna be able to diamond paint in front of the TV. So I could use this to clip them to a board and just go. And of course, lots of trays. So these little green trays hold such a special place in my heart because my first few diamond paintings had these. Right now, these are perfect for my kids. I lay as many trays out as I think they won't spill put the different drills in here, and that way they can quickly diamond paint. For me, they've got them. These are my favorite. I love putting my drills in here, and the spout end, I can quickly put my drills back into whatever organizer I'm using at the time. I could put them on here, quickly put them back into this. So I really, really like these trays. Um, I'll probably load up about two or three at a time when I diamond paint. So having more means I get to paint faster. And these, these I don't have any of. These are a brand new item for me. I've seen them before. The extra large jumbo trays. They're huge. Huge. So I'm excited to have some of these one project I unboxed over the summer and I still have it back here in my to-do section. It has about 40,000 310 black drills. So I'm gonna need these large ones 
load them completely full as I spend months and months and months doing 310s. And last, the thing in here, it's in plastic. I'm gonna undo it, sorry for the crinkling. Here is a drill holder. It's actually really small. It kind of reminds me of those pill holders you see at the pharmacy, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You have this, it goes all the way to 12. So one through 12. Um, oh, like it's not opening. I have my hand on it. So pretty small, great for small projects. Um, I have some tiny, tiny little diamond paintings I'm gonna start working on maybe in January or February. You know, like the, a little bit bigger than the smallest uh, diamond dots. Maybe they're about the size of a phone. And this could be really good for all the drills because it's gonna, it's, it's similar drill colors for I think like six or eight of these mini diamond paintings. So I could just load one case up and I've got one case for all my paintings. So this will get put to use pretty soon. And that's really great. This was an awesome gift because these things I'm always losing. Let me pack all this up real quick. I'm not gonna remember how it went in as perfect as it was packaged. I got it all back in. This is great. I, I really like it and it's small. I can put it anywhere. Um, as a diamond painter, I have a lot of extra of these until I don't have any extra. So a, a recent example, I had a diamond painting that I ordered when I first started diamond painting and I got it on Amazon for like $5. I figured this is a great beginner project. And as I worked on projects, I never ended up doing this one and it's just been sitting in my closet. So recently I went to kind of my crafty ladies and I said, does anyone want to try diamond painting? But this kit, I must have lost the drill pens or something or the tray. So I grabbed one of my own, put it in there. And when I give a gift, like a diamond painting is a gift or for someone to try, I try to put in extra, extra drill trays, extra pens. You really don't need any extra wax that lasts forever, but I do extra wax because I don't know if it's just them, if it's them, their spouse, their kids that are gonna to wanna to try it out. So I am always either losing or giving away my extra supplies. So I need a lot of extra supplies. And because everyone knows that I love diamond painting, I got a second kit. I'll go through this one quicker. So this one came in a box packaged like this and I don't, Crinkling, sorry. I actually don't have a drill roller. I've always used my hands to press them down, but here's a roller that I can put just right over my diamonds and make sure that they are all in place and super sticky in that glue. So I'm excited to have this. Another new item that I haven't had at all. And this pouch of goodies. I've had a similar pouch like this. It was smaller, so it didn't have as much in it, but these pouches are really great and I reuse the pouches for crafting. So this one has the big blue tray with the holder for my pen. It's got all the other little pens that you can imagine, stickers, and what I need so many of, I can never have enough, drill cases. So I need more drill cases. I'm running out. I'm really happy to have this. I actually got one of those bead organizers that I use for my drills and it's full. It's completely full. Every little container, I think I got the 84 count. So every little container is filled with my older drills and now the drill boxes that I had on my last diamond painting still have all their drills in. The purple and blue one I'm working on, all of those drills are in the like large Evermates package. So if I wanna do any other projects, I at least have one case now I can work with. So that was perfect timing.
I'm not going to get it packed up as cute as it looks. There we go. And then I got three Diva paintings. These I'm really looking forward to. They're smaller than the one that I just finished, so I'm really excited about that. I need to take a break from these large, large diamond paintings. I got the Diamond Dots Butterfly. You've probably seen this one before. It's really nice. It's a partial drill, but Diamond Dots has beautiful sparkly drills, so this is gonna be great. And when my kids saw this, they thought it was a gift for them. And I'm like, no. I'm doing this. Maybe I'll put it in their room when I'm done, but mommy's doing this one. I got two more. You guys know I love Star Wars. My husband loves Star Wars. So what my in-laws did, it was really sweet. They had this wrapped and the tag said for Meredith, but to Joe, my husband, because he loves Star Wars. And it's two Star Wars diamond paintings, or a Star Wars inspired uh, fan art diamond painting. I don't know if I'm gonna get it perfectly on the camera, but I'm gonna try. This one is a Yoda, and it is a 30 by 40. And this one is a Darth Vader, or Darth Vader inspired, it's called Armor Warrior, and it is a 30 by 40. Yeah, so this one's called Master Yoda. And what I plan on doing, and my husband's really excited about this, I will completely do the diamond paintings, and he wants them on his wall at his little cube at work. So that's probably where they will end up. And I'm really excited. It's, it's a lot of fun for me, crafting. I find it to be enjoyable, stress relief, a great hobby, really social when I get to do it with my friends and my children. And when my family is also supporting and buying the gifts, I love it. I appreciate it. It was a great Christmas. And get ready to see more of all these on the channel through 2020. Um, if you have any questions about anything, let me know. There's links down below if you want to take a second look or get a little bit more information. And that's everything for today. I'll talk to you later. Bye crafters.